Hi, I'm Taria, aka Miss Marketing Breakthrough, and today I'm going to show you a neat little tool that I use to automate my Twitter account. Um, I know many of you are using social media to promote your business and to promote your services, and if you haven't started using social media or even if you're new to social media, you know that it's one of those things that could easily take you, you know, three to four hours a day if you have multiple accounts. Um, many people are using Facebook, they're using Twitter, they're using LinkedIn and Pinterest, um, Instagram, a lot of other social media sites to promote their business and service. So one of the things that I found to work really well is you know tools that would help you automate your process. So one of the tools that I've found that works really well in automating my Twitter um, account is called Tweet Adder. So this evening I'm just going to do a brief run through with you, you know, to show you how the tool works. Now, after you purchase the tool, you will get a registration key and the instructions will allow you to go ahead and set up the account. It's not hard. It's very easy to do. And after you've set everything up, you would like to come right here and click on open user and select your Twitter username. Now I'm going to start with the settings tab and in the settings, the settings tab, you could set your account to run automated tasks. So for me, I have my automation running from 3 a.m. in the morning to 11.47 p.m. at night. And you could have this set to whatever time frame you want to have it run. The, the, the key is to make it look like it's an actual person that's making the posts or making the updates to the Twitter account versus having an automated system. The second thing um, you, you would select is how often you would like the system to update your followers and your following list. So I have mine set to every 30 to 40 minutes. Once again, you know, it acts like as if it's a real person that's doing it for you. You also have the option if you want to blacklist anyone, like if there's anyone that you want to block from your Twitter account, you could add them to a blacklist and I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. You could also whitelist people, which means um, you put them on a whitelist, you would always follow them. They won't be um, deleted. Okay, and as you can see, I clicked on whitelist and these are some of the people that I have whitelisted to my Twitter account. The system would also give you the opportunity to take a look at your followers, people who are following you. And as, if you look right here in the upper right hand corner, you'll see I have 235 followers. And it would also track your friends. And as you can see right here, I have 487 friends or 487 people that I'm following. Okay. So, okay. Next up, we're going to show you how you could find followers using Tweet Adder by searching for keywords. Okay. So this is a great tool that would give you the opportunity to seek out people that you know you would be interested in following and finding people that you would like to have follow you back. So you could take a look if you're you know a business owner, you could take a look at people in your specific industry. So if you are a real estate agent, you might want to search for um, first time home buyers, anyone who's tweeted about buying a home or tweeted about moving, you know, you would just go ahead and put your keyword in here. Um, if you're a marketer like myself, you might want to search out like small business owners, affiliate marketers, multi-level marketing. Okay. So all you would have to do is just simply go ahead and put your keyword in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and type in a keyword. Okay, and my keyword is affiliate marketing. So I am looking for people who are tweeting about affiliate marketing. You also have the option to put in a location. So if you would like to, you could go ahead and put in your city and your state. It doesn't really matter, but if you want to target your search, you could fill out the location. And also what I like to do personally is um, make sure that my language is set to English. 
if I leave it open, then it will pull, you know, um, Twitter users that might speak a language different from English, which I may not understand, which may make for terrible marketing because we can't communicate. So I usually like to make sure that my language is set for English and then simply click on the search now button. And as you can see, what's going to happen right here is that it's going to pull the list of all the twi Twitter users that tweet about affiliate marketing. So as you can see, the keywords are right here, affiliate marketing. Now, once you've pulled your list, TweetAdder gives you the option of whether you want to follow the person now or you could follow later or discard. So you could simply click on what your option is. As you can see, it pulled a list of 313 um, Twitter users. So if you, you really don't have the time right now, you know, to go ahead and follow 313 people, you could simply come to the bottom and select follow all later. And what that would do, it would put them in a list. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that follow later list looks like. So I have a list. As you can see, I pull on um, my list just about every other day. So I have a nice list of um, 4,832 people that, you know, every day, you know, at the end of my day, I come in and I follow or I select people that I want to follow. So it gives you the option to follow or once again, you could discard, okay? Now over here, as you could see on the follow and follow back, there are other options that you could use to follow or find um, Twitter users. You could do um, a search by location. You could also do a search of followers of a user. So if you know that there's a particular influential person in your industry, you could actually set out to follow their users or, or, or follow their followers, I should say. Or if you know, once again, someone you know has particular influence in a specific industry that you're targeting, you could also target the people that they're following by going to followed by a user okay so that's just some of the ways that you could you know really target your search on Twitter and put the tool the automation tool to work for you so it's a really neat tool and it just cuts down a lot on the guesswork of having to you know figure out who to follow on Twitter and who's on Twitter and how do you follow them where do you find them so the tool kind of does that for you okay now here in this section you also have the option to unfollow Twitter users okay so if you see here it says um, not following back so Twitter is kind of like a relationship, you know, social media tool where if I follow you, you know, you follow me back and usually I set like a time frame for that to happen. So if I send you a request and you don't you respond to my request for a follow in say about three days, then I want to go ahead and unfollow you because, you know, I want to make sure that I'm following people who are also following me back. Your ratio to for follow to unfollows should not be, you know, out of sync because Twitter would also take a look at that. Like if you have a high following ratio and no one is following you back, then it says to them, hey, you know, something is going on here okay so you also have the option whether you want to go ahead and unfollow people right here using the unfollow button or you can mark people into your whitelist and once again with the whitelist once you put someone on your whitelist it means that you're following them that they won't be removed from your Twitter list by the tweet adder tool you could also unfollow people who have unfollowed you and luckily for me you know no one has unfollowed me so that's great <laughs> you could also unfollow users that don't have um, a profile image 
okay so someone you know usually without a profile image it usually signifies to me that they're really not serious you know on Twitter okay so I might take a look at their um, I might take a look at their stats okay and see exactly what's going on um, with this with this person so I could see here um, he he has a large following he has 1854 um, followers on Twitter so he might be influential so you know I'll give it a couple of days I could choose to whitelist or I could choose to unfollow usually persons without you know um, a profile picture I usually you know as a rule I usually don't follow them back okay but that choice will be up to you now I also want to show you one of the the things that I think is the neatest things about the tweet adder tool tweet adder will also give you the opportunity to automate your tweets now in order for you to be effective on Twitter you have to tweet at least five to six times a day five to six times a day like I mentioned in the beginning that could be easily you know three to four hours of your time if you're continuously looking for content you know to post for on Twitter throughout the day so one of the easiest ways that I do this I just go ahead and collect my content and save my content on a notepad and I could take and I could simply click right here on import list and import my tweets from on my notepad the good thing is I could also select to have tweet adder make those posts random so sometimes I will post about quotes sometimes I will post um, information from my blog I might po post um, or tw um, pictures okay so I won't have my list if you take a look at my list once again you would see that I have all my quotes listed and then I have the pages for my blog by clicking on randomize order this will give me the opportunity to mix my content up a little bit so my Twitter followers won't get bored with my um, with my information the system also gives you the opportunity to import a RSS feed if you have a RSS feed and then you could also post retweets okay so if once again if you know um, of a Twitter user that's very influential in your industry you could simply put in the username and if you want to retweet when they talk about you could just simply put the keyword in here and add retweet okay and every time they tweet about that particular subject then tweet adder would automatically retweet that tweet for you cool huh now also one of the biggest features that I like is automated my thank you messages so I could now say thank you to all the people who are following me on Twitter and once again I don't have to do this process manually I simply come in and create my thank you message and as you can see with my thank you message, I'm just letting people know that I'm also on Facebook and I have my Facebook business page and you could connect with me on Facebook as well. So if you were ever wondering what was it or what is a neat way to get more likes on your Facebook page or boost your your viewership on any other social media sites like YouTube or any other tool that you're using you could simply use tweet adder to send out an automated message for you every time someone likes your or follows you on Twitter okay so if you're following me on Twitter thank you for following me on Twitter I'm also on Facebook come on over to my Facebook page and like my Facebook page okay and what that will do this will conclude uh, my video tutorial on tweet adder um, for more marketing tips please follow me on YouTube um, I'm found at youtube.com miss marketing breakthrough and also you could follow me on my blog and the information will be posted on the screen below thank you take care until next time Taria miss marketing breakthrough